Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick video about uh, a really important Stalker Clear Sky for PC mod and that is the Sky Reclamation Project, the SRP mod. Now if you want to play Clear Sky on PC, um, it's still got quite a few uh, potential game breaking bugs and bugs in it if you play the vanilla Steam version or the GOG version. If you play in the console version for PlayStation or Xbox, most of these bugs have been sorted out. So the SRP mod um, addresses many, many of these problems. And what's very, very nice about it, this mod is being updated right up until, I think a couple of years ago, actually. Let's have a look. When was the latest files coming out? Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. What have we got? SRP 1.13, December the 5th, 2023. Yeah, so they've put an awful lot of work into this mod. And for such an old game, imagine um, Stalker Clear Sky came out in 2008. The fact that the modders are still keeping this up to date is really important. So if you're only ever going to run one mod with Clear Sky because you want you know the ultimate instability, this could be the one. Now it can improve lots of things as well with gameplay changes. So I'm going to show you how to install that because it can be a little bit confusing to, to start off with. So anyway, so I'm going to kind of assume that you've got Stalker Clear Sky. You've installed it on your local PC. Um, you fired it up once. And then you've exited. Um, when you're installing mods, uh, especially things like SRP, it's important to note that really you want a clean install of, of Clear Sky. Also, if you're installing other mods, check they may well include the SRP mod as kind of as a base for what they do. So I'll put a link to the SRP mod on moddb.com in the description below this video. And just go to the download link and download it and it will end up in your download section on your computer and then you want to copy that and then you want to take it to where your installation of um, clear sky is so for example on my computer i've got it on my d drive so it's under d um, where is it? under steam library steam apps common and then we've got stalker clear sky i've made a new folder srp mod and I've pasted the um, zipped fold, uh, file there and then all I've done is I've just extracted that here and then we've got all of these things. If you're not quite sure where your install folder is, if you go to your library and go to where uh, Clear Sky is and then go to properties and then go to installed files and then go to uh, browse, that should then open up the window where they are and you can left click up here and it'll tell you D Steam Library Steam Apps Common Stalker Clear Sky. So there we go. So well we're here now so we might as well do it do it from here. So if we go into the SRP mod folder um, you want to open up these readmes and you want to have a good look read through the ordinary readme and then the optional features. I've got them here. Um, these tell you a little bit about installing it um, and how to uninstall it and they just there's a lot of big long list of crash <laughs> crashes that they sort out and issues with the game as well and some troubleshooting stuff where things get really interesting are with the optional features so these are the th these are the, the things that the mod can do to improve the game so to improve your gameplay experience but you install them in a slightly different way so what you would do we would go in here and to install the base mod you just copy the game data folder go back up to the root directory of the game and then you would just paste that and it will say do you want to replace this stuff and you just say replace the files and that would then replace those and as it is now you'd fire that up and that would give you the base SRP mod so you'd be avoiding things like um, lots of different crashes and bugs and things like that however if you want the optional stuff what you do is you go into optional features and you've got two folders so you choose the ones from the first one first and you just go into it and you've you've got these different things so feasible stealth no enemy map swaps no intro movies restored pistol iron sights small inventory grids and that if you want to know what these are go back to the readme for the optional features and they're in alphabetical order and you can, you can choose which ones you want so let's say we wanted let's go back to the right folder feasible stealth so we go into feasible stealth we right click and we copy the game data folder we go up we go up we go up we go up so we're back into the root directory for the game again and we just paste this 
and say replace the file. So what that's doing, that's replacing some files in the game data. Then what we can do is we can go back into the model and go, oop, sorry, go back into optional features, go into the first folder first, and we can go, um, no intro movies. Yeah, that sounds good. So you go into there, you right click, copy game data, go up, go up, go up, go up, back into the root directory, paste that, replace the files, yes please, that's done. Back into the mod, optional features. Do we, okay, so we don't want anything else from there, so we can go back up, we now we go into the second folder. And we can go, all right, okay, so there's lots of cool stuff here. How about alternative ballistics? Yeah, we want that, so we're gonna right click that, copy that, go up, go up, go up, go up. We're in the root directory for the game again, paste that, place the files, yes please. That places those in there. Go back into the mod again, optional features, the second one. And let's have a no weapons, no weapon sway on strafe. That's really annoying, isn't it? In this one, weapon strafe. When you strafe to a side with and silly things, it only happens with iron sights. And you, you, you know, the enemy shoot you while you're strafing. So we want that one. Go to the root directory again. Paste. There we go. It's gone over the top. Go back into the mod, optional features, second folder. Uh, what else have we got? Re reduce grenade spat. Oh, here we go. Oh, I tell you what, sleeping bag plus no intro movies. We'll do that one. And you can, I mean, you can do all of them if you want. So we go game data, copy, up, 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 paste, replace the files, and there we go. And that's it. Restart the game. You'll see SRP. Uh, 1.15 or whatever it is in the bottom left hand corner to know it's live and just start playing you should notice these changes have happened now If you do get some problems where things don't seem to be happening go into the SRP 1.14 read me scroll down to the bottom and there's a whole lot of stuff to do with um, Troubleshooting the mod and troubleshooting the game as well however, what I would say is from my experience one of the things you may want to consider doing is when you first play through these PC versions of the Stalker original trilogy, save a lot. So make sure you don't rely on the quick save and make sure you're doing hard saves a lot of the time so that if there is a game-breaking bug, you can go back and you haven't lost too much time. But try and work through them, maybe even in the, the vanilla um, version where you don't really add any mods. But also, if you have a trouble getting a mod working, I, th I think the best thing to often do is just completely uninstall Stalker Clear Sky using Steam or using GOG or whatever method you've got it. So it's completely gone from your hard drive. Then reinstall it and then reinstall the mod again. Um, because if you've done any messing around with the game in terms of other mods or other things you might have played around with, then that can make installing any of the mods for any of the stalker games or mods in general uh, trickier. Um, because remember, these mods, even though this one has been updated recently, the game itself is really old. And you, we will run into problems where modern operating systems and modern hardware don't like playing with some of these. Uh, modern things like um, drivers don't like playing with some of these things these old game engines did. And that's where these mods really come into their own because they keep the game alive. But bear that in mind as well. Don't be afraid to, <laughs> to uninstall, reinstall with a fresh clean, clean install, start the game, quit the game, install the mod over the top and you'll probably find that most things are um, sorted out. So Big thank you to all the people working on the Sky Reclamation project. Remember, Stalker Clear Sky, although it's the second game in the original trilogy, it's a prequel to the first game, but don't play it before the first game because it gives you a lot of um, spoilers uh, that kind of spoil some of the things that are going on in the first game. And if you haven't played Stalker Clear Sky, maybe you've just played Shadow of Chernobyl and gone straight on to Call of Pripyat. I'd say definitely play it. I've played through it all, and I think it's it's pretty good. It's quite hard. Some of it's very challenging. Some of it looks great. Um, but yeah, it's a really interesting game. And like, I think all of these original Stalker titles, what I find is when you're playing them, sometimes you may well find them frustrating because they're very old. Lots of the quality of life things we have in new games aren't there. But, you know, there, there's something... 
addictive and immersive about the zone and everything that's going on and i found when it although i might find it frustrating when i'm playing through them at times once i've finished it i think oh i want to go back and i want to play some more but there we go the sky reclamation project or the srp mod highly recommended to keep stalker clear sky running nice and smooth on your pc doesn't affect gameplay or the story or anything like that but can make the game a little bit um, more user-friendly. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below. And of course, I'll see you again soon.